Hello and welcome to Olton Park here in a new vehicle, a new road vehicle on iRacing. We've got the Formula Ford, as many will call it, here, the Ray Formula 1600. Um, it is a free car, which uh, I'm very happy about, because otherwise I might not have uh, been able to give it a try. And uh, we are in the Battle of the Little Wings. So as you can see, we've got Formula Vs in here. We've got the Skip Barber, and then we've got the new Formula Ford. And uh, we're going to jump out to qualifying here. The only things I did with the setup is, uh, or the only thing I did with the setup is remove, remove some fuel. And uh, I didn't remove enough for like qualifying here. I'm just doing my race fuel, which... Uh, Leaves me about 15 laps or so, and it's a 15 minute race with longer than one minute laps, so that should be okay for us. Um, I've been finding that my experience with the Formula V is maybe helping a little bit with learning this car. Some of those uh, open wheel racing traits are kind of coming through, which you would expect. So stuff like, uh, you know, Good road racing habits, like getting the braking done before doing your turn in, or else it'll try to snap around on you. You know, braking in a straight line. Being careful in the cold tires. All good things for pretty much any road racing, but especially so in these vehicles, because they will not like it if you try to do that. I found that it's very important not to overdrive the entries of these corners, because it'll spin around on you real easy and uh, as you can see by my all-time optimal here about seven tenths faster optimal than best and that's just kind of proof that I'm still working on being consistent and that I still need a lot of practice but you know theoretically everybody does right unless you've been driving this thing in real life <laughs> before it came out on iRacing or maybe another sim even green, green, green. So otherwise, it's new to everybody here, so I'll do my best. I just, uh, I'm gonna try to underdrive it a little bit, maybe, especially on the entries, and maybe just survive, you know, just try not to crash. It is an unofficial race, so it won't affect, you know, our I rating or safety rating, but I'm still gonna treat it as if it were official, because I do hope to run this car a lot. Uh, I was, I've in the past run a lot of the Formula V, but I was kind of getting, uh, kind of getting a little tired of it because just way too much draft with how underpowered it is. So it, that unfortunately kind of offset the things I did like about it. But this seems like a great next step for, you know, something with a little bit more power that maybe you can offset that draft pack racing kind of look that the Formula V racing can have. And uh, this could be something I race a lot of, so I'm hoping to learn it, get better at it, get faster hopefully, and uh, not at the cost of crashing all the time. <laughs> so. Here, though, I imagine there's some people that have been racing it all week, probably getting better and better. This is my first attempt at a race in this thing. Got kind of sideways there, entered a little bit too hard, maybe turned the wheel a little bit much there. It wanted to almost snap around. I've noticed you can catch it a little bit more than, say, the Formula V, but ideally you're not having to catch it in the first place. Ideally you're uh, One more lap. driving it in at a good enough speed that it'll stick so that'll be the faster way anyway so you know I can save it I don't want to have to right so first lap is 145.9 which is apparently an all-time best I'll take that I guess didn't feel like I hit my marks all too well that lap but like I was saying my optimal is much faster than my all-time best just because I uh, am still working on getting consistent so I'll take that. 
Gotta get race labs up still. Wanna see like what the strength of field is maybe. I'm not sure if it's gonna be able to tell us properly in a multi-class race. Oh, mm, underdrove that a little bit. That's okay. Scary corner right there, that uh chicane. Haven't quite gotten a good feel for this section, right? Quite yet. That was about as good as I've been able to do it. But I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying that the car's a little bit faster than the Formula V. Hopefully it'll bring some good racing. Why is my cue bar messing up again? I'm so annoyed with my internet lately. I don't know what's going on with it. <laughs> Drove in a little bit too hard there. <laughs> Figured it out, though. And it was actually kind of fast, because I didn't slide it too much. And that'll be three tenths off of my best, so... Obviously, I, there's a lot of time for me to gain. A lot of progress to be made. Hopefully we're not too crazy far off. Gordon Ramsay, chef extraordinaire, is on poll right now. <laughs> Interestingly, um, we're under, we're not, you know, we're under a second behind him, which, you know, is not fast, but assuming he's, um, as good of a driver as he is a chef, it's probably pretty good, right? Pardon me. I'm going to get race labs up. I should remember to do this before the race, but I don't. So there we go. Overlay. Thank you, sir. Sorry for the delay. So this is 3.4 strength of field. That's pretty good. What are people saying? F1600s are way faster than the Skippies, it says. So it sounds like people are liking it, including Gordon Ramsay. That poor guy probably gets like, are you really Gordon Ramsay? All the time. We are just on the default set too, by the way, other than the, the change to the fuel I mentioned. So there could be people that have been making setups. Oh, another thing I changed, screen color purple to, to match the car. Very important. <laughs> uh, we are not all that fast, actually. There's only a couple of 1600s behind us. So I got work to do. Then again, this guy behind us is still almost a second slower. And these are fast guys. I mean, look at this. Over 3,000, pretty much all of them. This is a strong field. We had over like 200 people signed up, which is pretty wild. So I can't feel too bad about that, especially given that I just hopped in this thing for the first time 30 minutes ago. And uh, we'll get started here. I'm assuming that... Oh, wow, look at all the incidents in qualifying. Yikes. At least I'm the only 1600 that didn't crash or get an off-track or anything. That's curious. But I'm assuming the 1600s are going to be up front here in the multi-class, and it looks like that is the case. That's good, especially for what they're saying about it being much faster than the Skippy is true. Kind of hoping that we don't end up in lap traffic, but considering the Formula V is in here, we're probably going to do that, and that could get weird. <laughs> Mostly I wanted to try out this new, new car, and uh, there was the one series that is just the 1600. They're at Silverstone, and uh, I am less familiar with that place than I am Ulta Park, so I wanted to try here first to get an idea of how this drives in a more familiar location. And then maybe I'll give that a try um, with only the 1600s later. So I just I hope to get some track time, first and foremost. Learn how this thing drives. So far, I like it. Challenging in a way, but I do enjoy it so far. And uh, let's see how we do standing starts, because I've been working on that too. Hmm. Could be better. All right. Still there. Clear on the right. Did we survive so far? 
Can I give some room? Someone right up our rear end. <laughs> Hoping he'll be patient. Gonna see some spinning here potentially. That guy is right all over me. That's his fault. Like, get off me, man. Be patient. Slap one. Thankfully, we don't get turned from that. Okay, make sure that's unmuted. Gonna break early here because. Yep. Definitely gonna be necessary in a tough corner like this. At least that guy didn't just completely plow into me and. Jesus Christ. Tried to slow down. But we're alive! We're alive so far. Come on, man. He's in the back having some trouble. So far, the Sorry. 1600 seem like they're doing okay, other than me and that guy ahead of me. Oh god, don't come over here. Thank you to him for keeping it over there. Man, these tires are cold. Sometimes you can't help it. So, 2x from the guy that ran into the back of me. You're back in fifth. But other than that, moving along, we're in fifth place. Try to take it easy on the first lap, let all the carnage take its toll, and see where you end up. Yep, that was me trying to take it easy, and the guy running into the back of me. We're well, not quite as fast as these guys ahead, but I'm kind of glad I'm not keeping up with them. Because that means the draft isn't as bad as the Formula V, which is what I was hoping for. So it's up to me to get faster and not have to rely on draft to keep up with people. Which is good. That's what I'm hoping for. So in a weird way, I'm happy I'm not keeping up with them right now. Maybe we can uh, have some success. Sorry, me. Just by uh, people wrecking out. We got through there pretty good compared to they compared to them because they're all stacked on each other. Kind of overdriving that. There is draft, of course, just not as bad as the Formula V. So I got to keep in mind that I will be going into some corners faster than I'm used to. Oh, there's a spinner. All right, off the track, so we're good. That's what I'm trying to avoid. You uh, overdrive a corner. That's what happens to you. Very important to get this thing slowed down before you start turning that wheel. The leader has just done a 145. You're in fourth position. Fourth place. Oh boy. Second place. <laughs> we still got 11 minutes, so things are looking good at this rate. Because I believe that is the leader in front of us now. We have the 521 car behind us, which is quite the number. I don't think I've ever seen a 521 car exactly. What is that? Is that a skippy ahead of us? Alright, gotta be careful here. Oh god, we're catching him at the worst part of the course too, aren't we? Underdrove that. Got behind him, almost got us. The lead is bidding now. That's kind of my fault for being a slug. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. Incident in. All right, got through there. Through there, pretty good. Better than I think I have. We got someone racked up ahead. Ten minutes remaining. Ten minutes. This is brilliant. Keep it up. That behind goes through there much better. We're not gonna fight him hard. Still there. 
tried to let him go, but he didn't make it. Interesting. The next car's the leader. Nice and smooth, you're running second. I accidentally defended, I guess. I literally slowed down extra an extra amount on entry to let him go, and he didn't stick it on the bottom. So he might be being somewhat careful. That's good. I'm sorry, man. There's people oh, all over the grass. Yeah, they do. Looks Jeez, like. man. Oh, good. Go on. You caught me, man. I'd have given it to you, dude. Ooh, lock up. Ahead. That's going to help us out catching him. We're in contention for the win here. That was a little sketchy. I went in pretty hard, but it worked. Great the second half of that chicane. Oh, I was really worried about that 511 on the left side over there. Wasn't sure where he was going to end up on the exit, so I gave lots of room. Inside. I think I'm probably That's third fine. fastest of this group right here. To I be honest know where you take me out, man. Oh, um, don't do that. Okay, Colton. That's bad. Don't do that. That was my first um, self-caused incident. Unless you count the one where I went a little bit slow through the corner. Seven's had a couple of bad turns, though. We're here now. We're halfway through. You'll look to the Scary, scary, scary. Welcome. He's breaking really hard into the corner. <laughs> Gotta try to find a way if I can overtake him, maybe. I didn't think I was faster. It's just different parts of the track, I guess. Ooh, he's overdriving. Hey, this guy's trying to pass again. We are just gonna back out. It's the smart move, I think. Let him go. No one behind us for miles. Let him try to go past him, maybe. You never know what can happen. Oh Still really? time for a uh, set. Buck's an idiot. I'm just having trouble getting used to your early braking and slow corners. Don't give me that bullshit. Frickin' you can you got control of the car, car, not me. Learn to drive. Guys, just wait for the thing. Guys, cheer, please. <laughs> They're very angry. I'm gonna be more lenient with people making mistakes because it is a brand new car. I don't think he was, but I didn't see it. I guess. Oh my! Yeah, these guys are battling now. We are in the thick of it. So the 521 gets ahead. Got half your fuel left. Coming up on some V's, this ought to be very interesting. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my daisies. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm really tiptoeing it through here with all this, well, well, guys. all these different classes. Okay, okay he's just gonna pull up in front of me now. Five minutes to go. This is good. If you like drive, we can keep it together. You're there. Clear. Yeah, we really got held up here. Left side. Clear on the left. We lost Colton. <laughs> 
Just chatting with some of the other classes. Oh. Roll damage. Well then, slower cars, including their class leader. How's that on me? You crashed into me. Well, my chat was a little friendlier. Give me some room, please. Well, I'm back. <laughs> back uh, fighting with the lead. We had one guy make it through that little hornet's nest. Good to see you made it through, buddy. The learning curve, but. Um, <laughs> If you look, I hug the apex and then you slightly turn a bit sharper into me and catch my rear wheel. The gap to Harris ahead is now 0.4. <laughs> well, uh, taking it easy, I think, definitely worked out. So those guys ran into each other. We'll try to catch up to Ben here. How much time we got? Three minutes. I don't know what I'm doing with my shifting. That was not the right way to do that, I don't think. Car's definitely feeling faster, though, now that we're kind of getting more up to speed. You can see my uh, lap times are getting faster. This thing's sticking a lot better, too. Actually, even getting even more fun to drive because it's uh, letting you kind of drive it in a little bit more. I'm not going to overdo it or anything. <laughs> yes, these different classes definitely are making this interesting. It's actually great practice, though, being able to run or getting the opportunity to run different lines. So I can have experience not just driving the normal racing line, but experience adapting to different situations. Just good to know how how a new car is going to react in those situations. So it's good stuff, good practice. Got a V up there. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Two minutes to go. Two minutes. Oh, he's switching lanes right in front of him. <laughs> we made it, we made it. Ooh, almost cut it a little bit on the inside there. Guy head looked like he was maybe gonna spin it. He was like doing some ramping. <laughs> looked a little scary for a second. I put that in really hard, too hard. Probably would have spun if it was on cold tires. Can't uh, get too much in the habit of doing that. Okay, Colton. We estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes of fuel will be plenty. Mm, a little bit hard in there. I think I just kind of missed my turn in as well. White flag. One more left to go. Will we have anything? For the 521 up ahead. been a great first race though in this car I'm glad we've been able to make it to the end and we're in position for a nice finish overdrove that that was scary another case where I probably would have spun it if that was uh pulled tires you've got about two left to fuel Oh, I hit the inside a little bit, and that kind of ruined my corner. Can we make up any time at this uh, sector? Oh yeah, we got through there real good. <laughs> you did too, though. Look at that, almost four tenths faster. Coming up on us 
lower class car. Going for it. We're here, and there's a V up there, I think. Or is that a Skippy? I think that's a Skippy. Weird spot to catch him. He's swerving. <laughs> I told you you can save these things better than the V. The V I've done like a 900 Tony Hawk style. Spawn out so hard. Slow car ahead. There's an incident in Old Hall. <laughs> Good race, man. Good win. We're on the podium. Good drive. All right. There's the ticket flag. That's crazy, yeah, Colton. That was that's fun. Good job. Very good job. Yeah, that was my first race in this thing. I think I'm gonna like it. That was that was a good time. <laughs> All right, sweet. P2. I'll definitely take that as a first attempt. Guy head was better in some sectors. I think maybe I had him a little bit on others, but I definitely got to work on consistency as well. But uh, kept it on track. We got one off track, and then the one. Little uh, rear ending on the start. Too bad we lost you, V. That was fun, man. Hmm. Yep. Lap traffic definitely made it interesting. That was good stuff. I enjoy how this thing drives. It really got a lot of fun once the tires warmed up, and you could definitely feel a little extra grip in the in the car. You could really start pushing it more and seeing how far you can take it. It's good stuff. So we'll go ahead and. Check out what happened. I'll look at that corner I went kind of slow into as well, see if I overdid it. There, that guy gets just a little bit of grass in the V, sends it around. Oh, that's weird. The V is in front of the the skippies? Maybe not? I don't know. Well, that guy just runs over another guy. That wasn't very nice. Yeah, um, I don't think we actually even touched there, so it's weird that I got 2x from that. We'll take a look from this angle. So obviously he's wanting to drive it in harder, but, you know, this is my first lap. First official race lap, although not actually official, in this car. And uh, what happens is he's catching me, and so he has to turn his wheel harder, and that snaps it around on him. So, I mean, I'm just, I'm going to take it easy, you know? It's a new car to me. I honestly don't even feel like I took it that soft, because, I mean, look, I'm still pushing out wide here. Having to turn the wheel a little bit, make sure it doesn't go off wide. You just, uh, you know, I appreciate him for keeping it off me, at least. I was just taking it a little easier than I think he was expecting. But we got back here uh, a Skippy turning in on another guy. I think this is aftermath from the guy that spun behind me. Maybe? Maybe not. Looks like we're having a lot of trouble in this corner. See, if I drive in too hard, that's going to be me. I feel like. That would have been me. Getting sideways. So they wreck right there. That guy's getting sideways. I mean, these cold tires going around a corner, a fast corner like that, it's going to break sideways on you. You got people dodging it and spinning because of it. Just a huge calamity. Oh, my goodness. Whole track is blocked. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. No one's making it through. Congrats to Pernell here. He's like the first person that actually makes it through this absolute debacle. He's kind of tiptoeing through. He almost gets tapped by somebody that's not going to wait for everyone to come through. There's a piece of something sitting on the track. <laughs> that was that was a bad one. Someone going into there way too fast. Someone getting into the way too grass. Still lap one. This guy has not made it through lap one yet. He's having a hard time. The 1600s here, kind of rear-ending each other. 
That corner still giving people fits. It looks like the easiest corner on the track, but it's just because you're going through there so fast. It doesn't want to grip up for you always. What on earth? <laughs> what was that? You hit the invisible boat mobile. Now it's broken. That was strange. Oh my goodness. Now everybody's flying through. Number two, just a tiny bit of grass. I remember seeing that. So he's uh, he's going to the beach. Oof. I think the only reason the one spins is because he's trying to get around the other guy that's spinning. Gordon Ramsay. It's rotten. And the one slides into him because he's probably cranking that wheel really hard right because he knows he's going to have to get around him and it just doesn't work. Doesn't work out for him. Rolls across the track. Thankfully no one was coming. And that's what gets us P2. Gordon Ramsay overcooks it. Sorry, I can't stop with the puns. It, it's like natural instinct. So the 16 gets it loose. Still only lap two. We're now just now into lap three. So tough racing out here. That's a weird way to enter that corner. Entering way too shallow. Huh. Not sure why he decided to take it that way. It almost looks like he's just giving out. Skippy in the grass. Oof. Yeah, it just drives in way too hard. Takes out the 10. This guy's having some trouble staying on the solid stuff. Ooh, that's something to note. Don't hit those curbs on the inside because that looks like that really messes up the 1600. Yikes. Those V's are finding each other a lot. And the 4 are finding some grass. Okay, yeah, that's definitely not Lee's fault. <laughs> Someone was saying it was his fault. Nah. He's obviously turning in right there. Comes and gets him. So that sucks. Um, he was a, he was going to be a guy that was going to be tough to beat for us as well. I mean, you can see we caught up a whole bunch just because of that. And that guy almost coming on the track and killing me. Like, I don't get that. He had plenty of time to... Well, maybe it bounced off and he didn't have much control. I was going to say, he had plenty of time to turn it left and, you know, try to enter more parallel rather than perpendicular. But I guess maybe he might not have had too much control over it. Parking on the track, not a great idea, probably. i go ahead and keep that going this way. But... That's okay. I guess I would rather people hold their brakes than, you know, slide across the track unpredictably. So it's a, it's a good general habit to get into to hold the brakes, I suppose. Some more learning pains. Ouch. For 1600 drivers in the Formula Ford. That grass is getting a lot of people there. I don't even know if he hit it actually, or if he was just trying to give as much room as possible on the inside. But... Gordon Ramsay, once more. That's not the first time that 42's run into the back of someone, I think. Maybe I'm misremembering, but... Then it's uh, after the race. Ben celebrates bringing the... <laughs> Open wheel car back to its jet fighter roots, I guess. And uh, we pull into a P2. Very happy with that. Fantastic first showing, I think, for my first time in this car. First race of any kind. So keeping it on track. P2 
paid off big because you see even the guy like in third, and we saw him go off track a couple of times. Guaranteed top two if you can just keep it on the solid stuff. So I guess that's my recommendation if you're going to give this a try. Just uh, keep it on the track. Be predictable. Watch out for Formula Vs and skip barbers flying around in the air. And uh, other than that, I think this is going to be a really fun car to drive. Definitely think I'll be back for more. Um, probably next season. It's probably going to replace the V in my standard rotation of driving. So looking forward to that. Great car. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, go give it a try if you're interested at all. I think it's pretty, it's pretty fun stuff. So have a good one. See you next time.